drier air began to filter in. And temperatures today, well, it was still rather warm, 86 the high, but still two degrees below average, so relatively comfortable. And last night our low got down to 75. And tonight, low temperatures dropping even lower into the upper 60s inside the Beltway. Temperatures right now already down to 64 in Pittsburgh, 65 in Detroit, still 78 in the nation's capital. But it's all about the humidity and those dew point temperatures, which indicate the amount of moisture in the atmosphere when you're in the 50s, especially this time of year, that is pleasant. Notice farther south into Norfolk, Raleigh, that is where the humidity will stay. And along this weather boundary, that is now just offshore. Notice more of the showers and storms over central Virginia and into the Carolinas. Along this boundary tomorrow, an area of low pressure is going to develop, but for us, we will be on the backside of this system, so still enjoying the comfortable humidity. On our future cast, here is that low. I think some clouds, maybe a few isolated showers on the eastern shore of Maryland, and again, southern Maryland may just be clipped. Some clouds throughout D.C., maybe some sunshine. I think a good mix, and the more sunshine, the higher the temperatures, but even and the highest temperatures tomorrow will probably only be in the middle 80s, so very comfortable. And by Friday, I think more sunshine and temperatures again in the 80s. So tonight, 59 to 68 degrees. And a quick little stat for you, the last time our overnight lows reached the mid-60s about a month ago, 67 degrees. Great little stat here from our fabulous intern, William. Tomorrow, 80 to 85 degrees. Still low humidity, very, very comfortable. And the extended forecast looks great. The humidity stays low through Friday. It increases a bit through the weekend and another Friday moves through and more so that'll bring us our next chance for showers and storms Saturday and more likely on Sunday. Okay, thanks.